free gingival graft. Free gingival graft is a portion of the keratinized tissue. It is intended to increase the zone of attached gingiva around tooth and zone of keratinized mucosa around dental implant. The attached gingiva extends from the base of the sulcus up to the mucogingival junction and it is normally adequate around the healthy teeth and inadequate around teeth with periodontitis. So the role of keratinized tissue is to provide resistance to external forces and provide stability of the marginal gingiva and it can also prevent development and progression of gingival recession. So what are the indications of free gingival graft? It can be used to increase the zone of attached gingiva around teeth that are affected due to recession, shallow vestibule or aberrant frenal attachments. It can also be used to increase the zone of keratinized tissue around implants. It is useful in primary closure around extraction site. It can be used for primary closure around immediate implant placement. And it can be used for covering non-pathologic dehiscence and fenestrations. So the classic technique of free gingival graft harvesting was given by Bjorn in 1963. This involves four steps. Step 1 is preparation of the recipient site. Step 2 is to obtain the graft from the donor site. Step 3 involves transfer and immobilization of the graft. And step 4 is to protect the donor site. So the first step of preparation of the recipient site involves removal of the overlying epithelium and part of connective tissue. A 15 number blade is used to the desired depth and a connective tissue bed is prepared. Incision begins at the mucogingival junction leaving the periosteum intact. The bed prepared is 50% more than the actual size to accommodate contraction. Flap can be sutured at the apical end. Step 2 involves obtaining the graft from the donor site. A prepared template is placed over the recipient site and it is transferred to the donor site. Palate is the ideal donor site and a part of epithelium and connective tissue can be removed. The ideal thickness of a free gingival graft is 1 to 1.5 mm. So to harvest the graft, place the template over the donor site, make a shallow incision with 15 number blade. Insert the blade to the desired thickness at one edge of the graft. Elevate the edge and continue to separate the graft with blade. This procedure should be gentle to achieve maximum visibility. The thickness of graft is very important. It should be thin enough to allow diffusion of fluid from the recipient site. It should not be too thin, otherwise it can cause necrosis and exposure of the recipient site. If it is too thick, deep wound injury to the major palatal artery is possible. Step 3 involves transfer and immobilization of the graft. This is achieved by controlling the bleeding at the recipient site and removal of excessive clot. The graft is placed on the bed and firmly adapted. Any amount of dead space that is present is removed as it can hamper vascularization. Suturing is done at the lateral ends and with the periosteum. The graft must be made immobile and sutures must be kept to the minimum. Step 4 involves protection of the donor site. It is important for the patient's comfort and also to prevent post-surgical hemorrhage. It is normally a open wound and hence primary closure cannot be achieved. If moderate or slight bleeding is present, pressure application can be done and absorbable gelatin sponge and oxidized cellulose can be used. A sterile aluminum foil is placed over the wound before the periodontal dressing is placed for one week. If the donor site wound is large, a modified Holly's retainer can be applied to protect the wound. There are variations in techniques of harvesting free gingival graft. These are accordion technique, strip technique or combination epithelial connective tissue strip technique. These techniques were introduced to minimize the donor site wound by removing the donor tissue in different configuration and altering the shape to maximize the coverage over the recipient site. So the accordion technique was given by Radshack and it involves expansion of the graft by giving alternate incision in opposite sides of the graft. This leads in expansion of the graft and wider coverage area of the recipient site. The strip technique was given by hand. Two or three strips of gingival donor tissue about 3 to 5 mm wide and long enough can be harvested. Strips can be placed adjacent to each other to obtain large donor tissue. This leaves a smaller raw area after harvesting and that helps in faster epithelialization of the open wound 
and uneventful healing in one to two weeks. Lastly, the combination of epithelial connective tissue strip technique is a variation of the strip technique, where deep strip of gingival donor tissue about three to four millimeter thick is harvested. Then it is split longitudinally into half thickness using a sharp 15 number blade. So two grafts can be obtained, one with epithelium and portion of connective tissue and other only connective tissue. This results in minimal donor site wound and two donor tissues can be obtained from one site. This allows for faster epithelialization of the wound and uneventful healing within one to two weeks. Healing of the free gingival graft. It is initially maintained by diffusion of fluid from the host bed, adjacent gingiva and alveolar mucosa. Transudate from the host vessels provides nutrition and hydration essential for the survival of the graft. During the first day, connective tissue bed becomes edematous and disorganized. It undergoes degeneration and lysis of some of its elements is seen. As the healing progresses, the edema is resolved. Degenerated connective tissue is then replaced by new granulation tissue. During the second and third day, revascularization of the graft starts. Capillaries from the recipient bed proliferate into the graft to form network of capillaries. Many of the graft vessels degenerate and are replaced by new ones. Around the fourth day, the epithelium undergoes degeneration and sloughing with complete necrosis occurring in some areas. This epithelium is replaced by new epithelium from the borders of the recipient site. A thin layer of new epithelium is present by the fourth day. Around 7 day, retipex develop and around 10 day, the central section of the surface is the last to vascularize. So to summarize, free gingival graft harvesting involves four techniques. First is the preparation of the site. Second is obtaining the graft, transfer and immobilization of the graft. And lastly, it is important to protect the donor site. You can find the link to MCQs in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for update on new videos.